Hi guys, this is a highly requested video for how to wear false eyelashes. This is a highly requested video from you guys. I honestly don't wear false eyelashes that much. I'm not saying I'm a pro of putting them on, but I will show you my technique of how to measure them and um, how I put them on. You can use tools, you can use your fingers, you can use um, tweezers. I'll show you a tweezer that I, that I have here. This is the one that I got from Emily during my Christmas swap. It's a tool that looks like this. You can buy these from like Asian Chinese type places or um, like supermarket, I don't know, Asian stores. Um, or you can get them from eBay, Hong Kong, Asia. Um, okay, so it kind of looks like this. It locks, lock, it locks like this. You can just pull it down, it's kind of like a tweezer. You can use these tools to clip in the eyelash and then just put it on, or you can use your fingers, um, or you can just use tweezers, like I said. I actually do prefer to, um, sorry, how rude of me to talk without looking at the camera. So I actually do like to use my tweezers. These are just these ones which look like this, um, just because it gives me more what's the word control <laughs> more control of where I put the lash um, for eyelash glue you can use any um, sometimes when you get false eyelashes you actually do get free glue but I find that most of the ones that I've had in the past they don't really help so the ones I like to buy are the royal ones which you can get at, at like um, kind of like those discounted beauty shops or you can buy these online or you can use the duo ones I know like a lot of you American gurus or beauties really love that brand but we don't really have that brand here and if they do these these ones are actually more cheap this one was only like £2.99 so it's less than £3 for this glue and it does last me for quite a long time if I was to wear false eyelashes every day this would last me for like a good two three weeks so I'm going to use this, I'll show you what I'll do. So today I'm going to be putting on these crisscross ones that I bought from eBay a while ago. Get them in a pack of 10 pairs. So what you do is you get each eyelash and it looks like this. And see the ends, you cut them off. So what you do is you measure it against your eye. So you just put it on. Then you just kind of see like... Um, how much you would need to cut off so you know a lot of people have like longer eyes than others um, and some people have like more round eyes so you would kind of need to use more of the um, I've just nearly pricked myself but yeah you would kind of need to use curve this round a bit more but what I do is I just measure it like this and then I just roughly estimate how much I'd need to cut off so for me mine would be right to the end so I just cut it off Sometimes you get like the little spiky part like this. So just cut that off because it does dig into the eye from my experience. And it is really, really uncomfortable. So for these ones. Okay, so once you've cut them off, you just measure them on your eye again. Perfecto. So what you then do is you get your glue. And you can put it at the back of your hand, or you can put it on a tray, piece of paper, um, or you can just get the eyelash and put the glue on yourself. It just depends how you want to do it. But if you want to do it like this, just put the glue on your hand, and then you just swipe the eyelash across, like so. So it looks like this. It doesn't matter if you've got glue on the actual eyelash, it will dry clear. And then what I do is I wave it about or you just wait like till it's about 80% dry just so it's easier to put onto the eye and then you won't need to adjust it as much. So while that one's drying I'm going to be getting another one. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing so cut the ends off. I roughly know how big I want mine. How long I mean. So just cut them off. And while that glue is still not dried, just swipe that across there. 
turn upside down and wait for it to dry. Now before you put on your false eyelash you might want to put some um, mascara on the on your natural lashes just so it like blends in a bit more or you can do that afterwards. I like to um, do that afterwards. Um, if you're using eyelashes um, and you want to reuse them the best thing to do is put the mascara afterwards. I also like to curl my eyelashes before I put on the falsies just so it can blend into the real lashes a lot better and because my eyelashes are quite stubborn they don't really curl that well. I have to curl mine about 20 times more than anyone else. Just curl them first. Once they are curled you can also apply your eyeliner first if you want but I really don't want to. I'm just I'll show you what I do. So once I've got that turn the right way around get your eyelash and you kind of just pop it in the middle and I do the ends and then just do the inner parts as you can see I haven't put it on properly so what I do is I use my hands push it in because these eyelashes are actually quite stiff so just push it in like so see then I'm going to do the same to the other one because the glue is actually almost drying so what I do is put the um, trees in the middle pop it on to my eye in the middle well Actually, I'm left-handed, so I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm going to put it on with my hands. Put it on to the middle, press the ends, and then the front. And if the glue is still dry, then you can just adjust the eyelash. So just pull it across. wait for it to dry now the trick is if you put the black eyeliner at the top of your lid first before putting on the false eyelash what this does is this just makes it just kind of like see when you look at your false eyelash you have you can see like a black band that just kind of like hides it and it defines your eyes a bit more Sorry, that was my phone. So that just defines your eyes a bit more. You can do that before or after, or you can do it before and after, just so you can fill, fill in any gaps that you may have between the black eyeliner and the false lash. You can because otherwise you can people can tell from a distance that you do have false eyelashes on. So for me, I don't like to wear, I don't like to put the false, um, what am I talking about? For me, I don't like to wear the eyeliner before I put on the false eyelash unless I'm going for the extreme look. But this is kind of like more or less like a natural look. And also because these eyelashes are like crisscross, um, they're kind of not really natural anyway. So I don't want to make it look too extreme. It's only for the daytime. So but it's totally up to you. It's totally optional, I'm just saying. As you can see, this glue isn't dried yet, but you can just get a piece of tissue. And then for the bottom lashes, if you don't want to put false eyelashes in, like I don't, you can always apply mascara before or after. So I already applied mine before. Okay, so my video did actually cut at the end, but I just want to say, um, after the eyelash has dried onto your eyes, do get your eyelash curlers and curl the eyelashes in with your natural ones. And you can also apply some clear mascara or some um, like black mascara over your natural eyelashes so it blends into the false ones more. Um, do practice before wearing them for a big occasion or wherever you go into a date, party, birthday, celebration, you know. Um, do practice before you put them on because I don't want to get the blame if they start like hanging off your eyes and stuff. I do advise that if it's a really really windy day I would not wear false eyelashes because it does. From my experience I wore these really extreme ones and it was so so windy outside and believe me I really regretted wearing 
wearing the false eyelashes that day because they were like half hanging off when I got to um, the bus stop I was like so shameful so if you are going out with your false eyelashes then do carry the false eyelash glue in your bag because if they could fall off especially like if you're going to a party where you're like sweating and there's a lot of people it's hot it's warm the glue could melt so yeah have lots of fun and I'll see you guys soon bye